just while it was on my mind, you know, in these wee hours of the morning when we have random thoughts, I wanted to have a conversation about a phenomenon we have been dealing with for a while. Something we endlessly have been subjected to, we can't seem to stop, no matter how much we beg and plead and cringe and laugh and demand, it just won't go away. And that is the phenomenon of TikTok nurses. <laughs> just won't stop. <laughs> now some of you may be out here thinking, Lauren, why do we want TikTok nurses to stop? Everyone should be allowed to have fun. Everyone needs a break. Why are you being the fun police? Well, let's consider a few things. For the last year, all of us have been told, stay inside, save lives. If you leave your house, you're literally gonna kill grandma. Quit your job, shut down your business, don't visit your family, no Thanksgiving, no Christmas, no New Year's, no going to the pub, no seeing your elderly grandparent that is close to dying and you may never get to see again if you don't see them this month or the next and they're desperate for human touch, love and affection. Don't see your girlfriend, your long distance partner, your friends, all of these things. Lose your entire livelihood. Don't be there for the birth of your child. Stay at home with your abusive partner and watch abuse rates around the nation go up and suicide rates around the nation go up, depression around the nation go up, and do it all so we can support an overwhelmed healthcare system. <laughs> all for that. So when we sit here and all of us do this for a year and then we watch healthcare workers on TikTok dancing through empty hallways, it's just a bit of a slap in the face. No one is saying don't dance, don't have fun, don't be happy, don't take breaks, absolutely do those things, you need to. I think people who are upset, who maybe just take issue with these videos, feel it's just yeah, a bit of a slap in the face. It's saying all of these things we did for a year were for nothing, were so that you could dance down a hallway because you actually aren't overwhelmed or we're staying at home so your hospital is empty and you have nothing to deal with and you are now spending that time dancing. And if your hospital is overwhelmed, you sure as hell should not be making TikTok videos. And that's the scary thing is this isn't just a case of it being bad taste. You know, the videos where people are on break and doing it, that's just bad taste in my opinion, but sometimes it's actually like negligent. We have seen videos come out of nurses dancing while they do have people waiting in triage, while they do have people waiting in emergency. What are they doing? That's why we've been waiting so long. We're <laughs> down here with a bunch of mops. Is this really happening? Am I really witnessing this? I've seen it all now. That's enough. I don't want to see it. What other job are you allowed to do this? What other job can you just stop working to dance? And you know, some of these videos are seriously coordinated. It's not just like, hey, I picked up my phone and we had a silly moment for five seconds. It's, it's stuff that would have taken weeks to coordinate and prepare. And the idea that people that are working in massively overwhelmed environments, so stressed, so scared all the time, would be able to coordinate a giant dance party for weeks and then film it in empty hallways, once again, a slap in the face and a total negation of this idea that hospitals are overwhelmed. So if you are a healthcare worker and you want people to take this seriously, you shouldn't be doing this. If you are a healthcare worker and you have some semblance of, you know, understanding of optics, some semblance of understanding of the suffering that everyone has been going through, you shouldn't be doing this. No one else in a normal job, let alone a job that is being taken so seriously right now and has the world's eyes on it should be doing this kind of stuff. And one more thing, 
I really respect our healthcare workers. Absolutely important work. We need it no matter what country you're in. Save lives, awesome stuff. However, this deification of healthcare workers we have been seeing this year is something that is really disturbing me. They're editing nurses and doctors into photos of Marvel superheroes. They are um, photoshopping angel wings onto them and just being like, you are gods right now. No, why are nurses and doctors any more important than our farmers who feed us? We'd starve to death without them. We all have important jobs and we all have important jobs that unfortunately many lost this year. It's people who are plumbers, teachers, um, janitors who clean the streets, garbage men, mechanics, these things all keep our countries running and yet they're not being deified. And in fact, they're being forgotten in a lot of cases where tons of people are just losing their jobs, losing their business. Meanwhile, we are acting like being a healthcare worker is the most brave job in the world and we can't believe these people are going through all of this while well, they're making TikTok videos. And I know tons of people who could genuinely say, I wish I were a healthcare worker right now because then at least I would have a job. At least I would be able to put food on my kid's table right now, but no, instead I lost my job to keep healthcare workers and hospitals from being overwhelmed who are now making TikTok videos in empty hallways. So I'm sorry, but if you can't understand why people are frustrated with that, I can't help you. I am perfectly happy for healthcare workers, nurses, whoever, to make TikTok videos and enjoy their life, but perhaps just consider not doing it well in your scrubs and giving a massive slap in the face to everyone who has shut down their entire lives for a year.